right, guys. It's your lucky day. I'm going to tell you about our next game. You've never seen anything like it before, so get excited. In our game, you can go anywhere and do anything. And I mean anything. You can climb to the top of the tallest mountain and follow streams past hidden villages down into subterranean caverns filled with ancient horrors. You can get on board your own starship and explore the galaxy. Go to other planets and discover strange and unusual life. Get into space battles over galactic trade routes or stay on a single planet and explore the high seas with a team of pirates. You'll be able to play it forever endlessly creating your own stories with yourself and your friends doing whatever you want in an infinite sandbox of your own imagination or or none of that will happen and i'll take all your fucking money and run off to bermuda If the preceding sounded familiar, it's because it's happened before many times. There are a lot of games that have enticed supporters with the promise of infinite possibility. There are two main reasons why projects oriented towards infinite possibilities are stupid. First, let's start with game design. Things in games are only meaningful in the context of a gameplay system, and gameplay systems are massive reductions of reality. For example, encountering an old shack, let's say, on the side of a snowy cliff has no meaning unless you're doing something with it. For example, let's say that your game has a core mechanic about survival, and you have to traverse a snowy landscape without freezing. In that case, finding an old shack would be compelling indeed. More so if the shack is haunted, and you don't want to be there, but you have to in order to survive, right? However, encountering a building on the side of a cliff because, hey, the developers put a shack here is dumb and boring. So let's say that for our shack to be fun, we're looking at some set of survival mechanics like food, water, body temperature, stuff like that. Can't be too much though, right? Or it'll be overwhelming. But what about during space flight? Do those systems just not exist anymore? Well, that doesn't really make any sense. See, for a survival mountaineering game to be maximally fun, the specific way in which reality is reduced and abstracted is going to be hyper-specific to that game and not another one. The reason games are fun is because they are abstract simplifications of real life a massive reduction of possibilities so that players can be given clear rewards for picking the correct actions out of a massively reduced set. See, this is a feedback problem. Surviving hypothermia could be fun if gamified, but only if you place the player in really tight constraints. If you explode out the boundaries of the world so that hypothermia could maybe happen, but maybe not, and it's really sort of irrelevant most of the time because the player can go anywhere and do anything, then you're not going to be able to reward the player clearly for doing anything. You're building a boring game. You're actually building real life. And if that sounds interesting to you, then go outside. The graphics are way better. And dude, everything is interactable. I mean, look at this. Take this little garden. Y you can actually just fucking dig in the dirt. And then you can plant a seed and it will actually grow in real time. And dude, dude, look at this wood. The material is actually accurate at a molecular level so you can even carve off fucking bits. That's wild. What's that? It's not? Oh, right, because nobody gives a shit. Why not? because there's no reason to do any of it? Well, that's not true exactly, is it? There's actually lots of reasons to do anything. It's just too goddamn complex, and every action lacks feedback that you're moving towards a simple and clearly defined goal. The reason video games are fun is because of the massive limitations and reductions of reality. Look, for a large open world game to deliver on a promise like this, it would need a beautifully designed system for everything that you can do, and all of those systems would need to not conflict. This is a task so difficult it's hard to overstate. It is Herculean in its difficulty. So before you give somebody money to do this, take a look at their resume at the very least. The second and main reason why this sort of project goal is a bad one is that in my opinion, it's fundamentally inhumanly impossible by definition. Human beings have a category in our mind that you could call the infinite unknown. We use this category to fill with 
projections of our deepest yearnings and fantasies. Staring into the night sky and wondering what's out there might be an example of this. That's exciting, right? But that kind of thinking operates on different rules than real shit. Real shit has the quality of definition. It has limitations and explicit function. You can't project infinity onto it. This is related to the phenomenon that some people report where being excited to go on vacation is often better than the vacation itself. Real life in the present moment is always fucking imperfect. And there's real beauty to that. Look, I'm not trying to cause anybody to be depressed here, but this is just a thing people do. We look into the future and imagine perfection and try to bring it into the world. but. It's never satisfying because that feeling we have, that intuition, it's not about reality. It's about potential. See, the reason I'm ranting about this is that when somebody tries to evoke that part in you, like I did at the start of this video to sell you something, that person is pulling your prick. To the extent that the product promises this sort of infinite potential, it is bullshit. No promise of infinite potential made manifest will ever deliver on that experience because that feeling involves the part of your mind that deals with the unmanifest specifically. Now, there's one caveat to this. It's possible for game developers to elicit that part of your mind in a product to invite a sense of wonder. That's different. Playdead is a great example of a team that does this very well. I mean, remember this shit? So fucking cool. Like, what was this? Amazing. So interesting. Anyway, that's my opinion on the matter. So next time somebody tells you that they're making an open world expansive blah 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 fucking blah 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 etc. Post this video and tell them to like and subscribe. Until that day comes, take care of yourself and your wallet.